Hey, what's up, guys? This is Shuri Guitar. It has been so long since I've last filmed a video, whether it's demoing something or it's a guitar cover. But I'm here with my Jackson Rhodes, uh, new Floyd Rose special gold finish. And that's to replace the stock one that I had for three years. I like a uh, locking nut plate, locking nut clamps, whatever. And then I have new tuners by Goto, but like the weird thing about those tuners is that they're rotary locking mechanism in which I have to screw down with a coin or a flathead screwdriver. And I don't think that's what I would do with a guitar with a Floyd Rose tremolo. But that's the only guitar I have with a Floyd Rose tremolo. But not to worry, those tuners will be in for a week, and then, like, I'm gonna get a new set of go-to tuners, like, the regular ones that I would use, and those will be swapped out, so, anyways, <clears throat> all that, including a Seymour Duncan Blackout pickup, going into my new Boss Katana head, which is also perfect for being a backup for my Randall Diablo to save tube life. And I'm gonna go on over. All right, so this is your amplifier type. Amp model, gain, volume. And then you have your three band EQ, bass, metal, and treble. And then you have your effects. So you could do overdrive or an effect, chorus flanger or phaser, delay or another effect, and reverb. And then you have your tone setting, which includes the channels, your power control, presence and your master volume, and the power button. And <clears throat> let's head on over to the back. And on the back you have a speaker out, which is uh, taking the minimum of 8 ohms. And then you have your effects loops, send and return, your MIDI in, and your foot switch in, and another input for an expression pedal of a sort but i'm only using uh that for the foot switch so <clears throat> i've already set up three channels that i would particularly use so uh the only thing that i would need is an isp decimator and i would be good to go i mean i do have the decimator 2g string but it would be perfect to have another decimator. But for the time being, I'm going to play my roads straight into the katana. So, channel one is a lush clean with a chorus and reverb and a little bit of delay. And I am tuned in D standard at the moment. <laughs> Like when I switch on over to the other channel because this is the brown channel and this is the hottest gain stage on the Boss Katana. So this is a dry lead that I have with a little bit of reverb. So. <laughs>
Yeah, there's some hissing. And the only thing uh, that can cure the hissing is the dust matter, as I said before. But, <clears throat> I'm going to go on over to channel 3, which is a wet lead. <clears throat> and this can also be good for soloing. <laughs> set up anything for channel 4 but the whole time that I've been demoing this was through the dedicated half inch speakers because like if I connect this katana to an external speaker cabinet like 8 ohm minimum loads like it can be very very loud but overall this is like a very versatile amplifier head and it's also perfect as a backup head to save the tube life of your usual tube state amplifier being my rando in my situation where if I have burnt out tubes and they're about to give out and I don't have a backup head like I will be toast but now that I have a boss katana it can also be good as a backup you know without bringing the pedal board with you like being cumbersome I mean I do love my pedals but I also love having an open mind and keeping an open option for tonal versatility. So the foot switch can switch effortlessly from channel to channel. So <laughs> see at the top of a foot. And <clears throat> foot switch is a hundred bucks. The GFA, whatever it is, the, uh, the Roland uh, foot switch, like it costs 100 bucks, but it is worth it if you use more than one channel. So, with that being said, I hope you find this demonstration to be useful. Like I said, I've been using the dedicated half inch speakers uh, to avoid noise complaints from the neighbors, but. You get the gist of this demo. So you guys have been awesome on YouTube for watching this demonstration. And I've been Shredded Guitar, and I'm signing out.